Okay, today we're going to look at drawing an ellipse within a rectangle. So let's start off with our rectangle. And there's my rectangle. So you'll be given the measurements of that rectangle. Next thing I have to do is I have to put a centre line in the rectangle. So get halfway down along this side and draw a horizontal line across. That's my major axis. And likewise I'm going to get midway across the top here. Drop that line down. And there's my minor axis. Now, on one quarter. I'm starting here in the top left hand quarter. I'm dividing that into four equal parts. There's three little marks but there's four parts. I'm going to do the same thing on my major axis here. So I divide that, that, and that. Now there's my little major axis divided up. Now I need now to draw lines through that. I'm going to start with red. From there, through there, is line number one. From there to there is line number one. Now I would suggest you label these. It's difficult for me on this, but I would suggest you label them and that way you won't mix them up. I'm just using colors. Number two is through the center and up here. Number two is joined back to here. And lastly, number three, in this case is yellow. Dodgy looking yellow, but yellow nevertheless. And over we go. Now if you look carefully at that you will notice that my yellow and yellow intersect here. My blue and blue intersect here. And my red and red intersect here. And if I carefully join those curves now I'm doing this without the benefit of a mouse so bear with me. We're going out and down. Oh this is going to be very shaky. Oh, good grief. Okay. If you do it that bad, then I'll freak. And then we repeat the operation on the right-hand side. So again, I'll have my center mark, my center mark, my center mark, center mark, center mark, center mark. And now I'll do my joining up. This time I'm going to go all in green because your lines will all be the same. So I'll wind up going one, two, and three. And then I go from here through my one, two, three on my major axis. So there's number one, there's number two. and there's number three. And again I can mark in the points that I've got there. So there's first point, there's my second point, and there's my third point, and I already have the end on my major axis, and I already have the top on my minor axis. And then I will join those points, one, two, and three, and four, and I'll get my ellipse. Now you can complete it.